Hall and Oates. Apparently, as John Oates has said, he recently said, Hall and Oates is no more. It's over. Finished. Finito. Am I sad about it? I am sad the whole thing took place. But am I shocked? No. Not really. Hi, guys. My name is Kiki. I like to talk about music, what's going on in the music world, all all kinds of, of things like this. And... Also, we have a radio station, and we do play Hall & Oates on our radio station. It is called, right there, kiki.fm. Go ahead and take a listen if you have some time. It's free, completely free in the App Store. Again, kiki.fm. So back to Hall & Oates. It it is just, you know, it's been a roller coaster ride for the whole Hall & Oates debacle. And there has been a lot going on. But John recently said, you know what? We're done. It's over. And the point of this video is, you know, when you sue somebody, it's got to be really difficult to move forward. And as a musical group, a band, whatever, if there is tension going on in a band, what happens is and what happened, you know, has happened many times over the decades and eons that music has been in existence, bands just go ahead and break up. If the tensions are that bad and they just can't stand each other anymore and they're like, you know what, I am just completely over you. I'm done. But when there is a lawsuit that takes place, how can you really recover from that? I don't think you can. I think you can maybe try to fake it. But if someone goes off and sues you, gets, you know, legal action taken against you, it's kind of tough to come back from that, I would think. And this is the case with Hall & Oates. This is exactly what happened. And John recently said that him and Daryl will never be working together again. Is it a big shocker? No, it's just not. You know, like I just said a couple of minutes ago, am I sad about it? I am. When this whole thing first came out, I said, you know what? This is really really flipping sad. Hall and Oates. I mean, the two guys, you just take a look at them and you go, my gosh, all of the great songs they've given to us. And now there's this mess. So yeah, I felt bad when I first heard about it. But now as time has gone on and John has come out and said all of these things, you know, how can you really be sad anymore? Because John is 76 Daryl is 77. They've both gone their separate ways. And, you know, you got to just sit back and say, all right, well, they're not going to tour together anymore, which is okay, you know. And another thing John said, which I thought was kind of interesting, he said that singing Hall & Oates songs are just not interesting to him anymore. And not being an artist myself, I am not a musician, thank goodness. Uh, You've all heard some of my singing, so that's never going to happen, but it was just fine. I I guess I can really understand, though, how he would be tired of singing songs he has been singing since the early 70s. You know, I'm not good at math, but what's 70s to 80s, 80s to 90s, 90s to 2000s, what, 50 years? Is that 50? Gotta be. I, I mean, I told you I'm terrible at math, but that's a long time to be singing the same songs over and over and over again on the road, on the stage. You know, you hear bands saying, oh my gosh, I have the best catalog to sing in the world. And it's true. But there has to be a day, there has to be, where you go, I just don't want to sing that song today because I just sang it 60 times over the past three weeks. You know that has to be a feeling. Is anyone really going to ever admit to that feeling? Probably not, because they want to keep their audiences, you know, invested. But I'm sure there are times when these artists who have been out there for a really long time, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, we singing that again, really? But you know, they put on a good face and for the sake of their fans, us, they do a great job in trying to, you know, glaze it over for that moment in time that they just don't want to. Because there are all things that we just don't want to do every single day, but we have to do it because it's either our, our job or we need to do it to live. So you get what I'm saying. But John, you know, was honest and came out and said, you know what, these songs are just not interesting 
for me to sing anymore. So I'm doing my solo stuff. I'm doing my new music. As a matter of fact, he has a new album coming out or, you know, it will be out by the maybe by the time you see this called Reunion, which is kind of funny because he's not going to reunite with Daryl Hall, but he called his newest album Reunion. However, I did read that he's reuniting with himself by doing all of this new material and not singing the hits, right? It makes sense. You know, and then going back to, well, let's think about it, guys. And we've all had these discussions many times on my Friday night shows here is that you want to hear the hits, right? From these artists, you really do want to hear the songs that they're known for the majority of the time. Yes, sometimes we do like the new music. You know, it's it's great to to get some new music from from these folks. But most of the time, let's face it, you're buying that concert ticket to hear that song you grew up listening to. There's just no getting around that. I mean, maybe you think differently, you know, maybe you think that, hey, I only want to hear new material from this artist that I grew up with. I don't really care about their old material. I want to, you know, look at the Rolling Stones. I mean, they had a number one blues album a few years back. Who would ever think that would happen? But fans were invested in the Rolling Stones as a band and they really, really enjoyed their new music, even though it wasn't rock and roll, it was blues. So... I get it. There's definitely two sides of the fence here. So I understand what John's saying. Daryl hasn't said a thing, though. Let me wipe my nose. To wipe my nose with my big piece of paper towel. And the last time that John and Daryl played together was in October of 2022. Now, John had said that Daryl has become adversarial and aggressive instead of professional and courteous. And that's a quote from John Oates. And that is also another point that we like to take a look at when these differences come up between these bands members, you know, getting angry in public instead of just maybe quietly doing what you have to do behind the scenes. And Daryl has said some, you know, pretty strong things about John. And I think John's pretty much taken it in stride and he he's been professional i think with his responses and his answers i mean the guy had a restraining order filed against him and a lawsuit so he could not sell his portion of the rights he has to the music so i think he's handled it very well daryl like i said since since john has come out with all of this information that they are not getting back together again. Daryl hasn't said anything as of the recording of this video. So I don't know. Is Daryl going to say anything? Is he going to hold back? Is he he just not going to say anything? And that might be a good thing. (laughs) If he doesn't say anything, probably, because he may not say the right things. He may say some things he might regret later. Maybe he won't regret saying them. I don't know. I really don't. So when John tried to sell his portion of his rights, Daryl basically came out and said, well, I'm going to war overseas. I think it was to Asia. And John is trying to ruin my tour. And I thought this was really interesting. John came out and said, you know what? I don't know what Daryl's doing. I don't even follow him on social media. What? That makes sense too, because these guys are all really busy at this stage of their careers. They're trying to, you know, still go out there and still enjoy what they do. And Daryl's doing his thing too. He was out with Todd Rundgren. He's got Live from Daryl's House. He's doing a lot. So is John. John's out there doing a ton of solo tours. And he's got this new record as well. So understandably, I, I get it that they're not knowing. Well, John is not knowing what Daryl is doing. Does Daryl know what John's doing? Maybe he does. Maybe he's watching. I don't know. But I did think that was kind of interesting. And John did just recently speak to Rolling Stone magazine, and he admitted that he's just moved on from Daryl Hall and John Oates. That whole era is now behind him, and today is a new day. Primary Wave owns a large portion of the Hall & Oates catalog, and when John tried to sell his piece, that's when everything went crazy, and John also told Rolling Stone that he feels like 
this whole lawsuit thing is now very boring. But with that being said, John said he feels like this is all going to eventually work itself out. And the point of this video is, you know, and and I'm thinking of another band and I won't even mention them right now. But, you know, when you sue someone within your own band, how is it possible to move forward and work together again? Work together with a smile on your face. There is a band currently doing that. I would think it's got to be tough. I would think that behind the scenes, it's got to be a little weird because if you've ever been sued before from someone that you you have a close either friendship or a personal relationship with, it, it can't be too comfy cozy. That's, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so whatever your comments are, you know, are you sad about Hall & Oates not getting back together again? Do you think they might get back together Together again, I kind of feel like, you know what? Don't go down that path anymore. It's it's probably not going to happen. John has made it very, very clear that, you know, that's in the past. Hall and Oates is back there. He is here. And in this particular situation, I don't think that's a bad thing. I really don't. Just like with, you know, Steve Perry going back to Journey, going back on tour, clearly that's not going to happen either. For a long time, I really hoped it would. I hope that Steve would make an appearance during their 50th anniversary tour. It didn't happen. And now I'm at the point, you know what? It's okay because Steve is living his life. And just like Daryl and John are doing, they're living their own lives separately. They are doing great, you know, on their solo tours. Is Daryl going to come out with new music? Maybe. Maybe he doesn't want to. But again, they can do whatever the heck they want. 76 and 77 years old. You know what? Like John said, we're the old guys, but they're not. I mean, they're they're just great. We have the memories from Hall and & Oates, and we're just going to continue to listen to their music and, you know, put a smile on our face when we hear the great music that they gave to all of us. So, yeah, let us know what your thoughts are down below in the comments section. So, guys, thanks so much. I love you, love you, love you. And I will see you soon.